Hello guys. In this session, we are going to focusing on the parameter determination of the mass, damping ratio, and spring factor of the system dynamics parameter. At the previous lesson, we should created the analogy modeling example, which uh, is the basis of the mass spring damper system can be converted into the electrical analogical model in here. But how can we create or how can we establish the mass spring and damping ratio in the real life application and so this our subject in this lesson the parameter determination is the most important section in order to create a real life examples or the calculation of these things is the most important part in order to design a system or mechanics or the shape design okay and so in order to create a <coughs> specific mass spring damping ratio factor, we should utilize two things. Utilizing two things, which is the shape parameter selection and the material selection. And so, if you are going to create a design with a solid model, like the cube or the any device, which is the shape of the something the uh, you want to design it in SolidWorks or the any other programming techniques, and so Unity gives the 3D dimension in here. And so, in the system dynamics approach, we should create it the 3D dynamics in the mathematical form and so additionally we should add the material selection section because the every material or every device <coughs> is created by the materials like the aluminium or the steel or stainless steel and so we need to choose it in the appropriate form with the how we can design this the system dynamics model in the real life application okay and so in the first place we should define the calculation of the mass parameter okay calculation of mass mass is directly related to the <coughs> volume parameter or the material selection because in the real life application or in mechanical system mass is directly related to what m is equal to density times volume value okay but in every system except the heat system the fluid dynamics or electrical one or the mechanical one includes this rule of things okay and so the density is directly related to the material selection Assume that uh, if you are want to use the aluminium parts and so the density should be equalized or should be assigned to aluminium one. Okay. And so uh, if you are using the liquid variable or liquid material and so you need to choose the liquid density factor or assign to this variable the density of the liquids. Okay. And so. How can we create a volume value? Volume is directly related to the selection of the shape parameter design. Because in real life, everything is in the form of 3D dimension, X, Y, Z. Okay? And so, <coughs> if we establish the any machine or any part in mechatronic designs, and so you need to give the specific dimension to these parts okay and so we can create a volume variable in here such as the x times y times z and so we can increase or decrease the x y z and so this comes with the change of the mass parameters okay and so if you are using the higher volume value and so the, we have the higher mass parameter and mass is directly affects the time response of 
system output okay and so we can easily set the proper value for the M with the selection of the density and volume value and so in the real life application you should select or you should choose what is your requirement of the selection of the mass parameter or the what is your restriction parameters is important for your study or for your design okay and so in the second place we should look at the selection of the spring factor <coughs> or the calculation of the spring factor and so we can create a title in here calculation of spring and so the spring is directly related to the what the storing energy form in the universe or the in the geometry or in the physics whatever you want to use it in the definition but we can say that if we have the such kind of material in here a cylindrical object assume that uh, we have the area of a and so if we have the l value in here and so we have a wall at this time and so if we're gonna give the force variable in here and so this materials shortening in time under the force applied on this cylindrical object but how can we calculate in the real life application and so the spin coefficients is directly related to the elasticity of the material and so the elasticity in material science <coughs> we can say that if we have the stress factor in here and so if we have a epsilon value in here the elongation factors and so we have such kind of information in here and so this is the linear region of the material and so if we have this the stress value on the cylinder and so up to this value rho max or sigma max we have the linear relation or the elastic part of this material and so if we elongate of this object and so the F is disappeared and so this object is returns to the normal position within this uh, range of these things okay and so how can we calculate the spring factor in a real life application and so as we know we should choose the shape parameters dimensions and we should select the material selection okay and so as we know the spring factor is directly related to f is equal to k times x and so we need to calculate uh, this k value k in the translational motion factor can be calculated by the e is the elasticity of these things and so we have the a value divided by l okay in the normal condition we can calculate is by using these things okay and so what is the relation of these things this is directly related to the material selection and so a and l value is directly related to shape dimensions okay and so we can use this analogy to create a correct value of the spring factors okay and so we have this some general formula related to the spring or the natural coil screen spring in real life and so for the spring model you can use the some generic formula if you have a spring like this one and so if we have the 2r is the diameter of these things and so the diameter of the cable is within with the d and so the k is equal to what g is the elastic elastic modulus or torsional modulus factor related to the material and so d over 4 divided by 64 and r cube is a standard formula 
and so if you are using or if you extended this formulation into this one and so you can reach this equation but I don't need to use or I don't need to improve or prove these things because this is the standard formula and you can use in everywhere to this rule in this notation but everything that we are talking about is related to the translational motion in mechanics but there are also a torsional motion or torsional factor related to the spring coefficient because the spring can be initialized or can be moved by both in the two conditions translational motion and rotational motion and so if we have the, this kind of the material like this cylindrical objects in here and so if we create the torque value at this time and so <coughs> we can write it down as the spring coefficient occurs at the direction of what it is z position or the rotational position okay and so this spring factor can be calculated by the kt must be equal to what the p g d over 4 d is the diameter of this cylindrical object and so divided by 32 times l okay because this is the length of the l and so we can calculate it, it by using this formula okay and so how can we use these things or this formula if we use or if we know this formula is correct and then we can design a cylindrical or springs in order to create a giving the some specific restriction related to the design of the 3d dimensional shape for example if we have using the g factor in here and so the material should be selected by the proper or appropriate with the these coefficients and so if we create a sum spring factor in this mill or the cylindrical object and so we can design it by using or changing the d value diameter of these things and so we can choose also l value as the length of the this cylindrical object and so at the same time we can also set proper spring factor and we can also learn about how to be designed in real life this cylindrical object and so if the G is the aluminium and so we should do aluminium okay and so L is uh, smaller or should be smaller than the 5 meter and so we can create a smaller the, than the 5 meter L value in here okay this is so important because in the system modeling approach we should uh, define it by using this formula in order to create a correct form of these things okay and so in the final position we should calculate the what the damping ratio of mechanical systems okay calculation of C and so the C is directly related to what true variable okay C is proportional with a true variable X dot and so in electricity which is the current value okay and so C is translated into the what the resistance value okay and so in the simple systems we have the plate in here or surface and so we have the m value which is the applied by the f force in here and so this is goes to the at the direction of the x okay and so if the surface has a friction factor and so mu x dot should be equal to what to the damping ratio factor or the force value in order to slow the systems or decreases the speed of this m value okay and so how can we calculate this mu formula 
The me formula can be imitated by the what? M G is the surface relation between the gravity of these things because the force is applied on the through the ground and so we should apply to this uh, formula but the surface roughness or the thickness is an important factor and so mu surf should be added in here okay and so we should add to what if the speed is zero and so c must be a zero because the c cannot overload or cannot be used anymore when the speed is zero okay and so and this factor should be equal to what the absolute x dot square okay because the absolute means that the friction is a directionless factor okay and so in the uh, if the x is the right hand side and so the friction is the opposite side and so as well as the if the x is the left hand side going to and so the mu is the opposite side of these things and so how can we calculate these things and so these things is directly related to what c must be equal to mu value okay and so in the general approach or in practical approach we can use some experiments in order to cover up the force value of these things because if we have the measure of the force value and so x dot value <coughs> the designer or the scientist creates an experiment in order to cover this c value because the f is directly related to the x factor and so the designer or engineer creates a linear line in here which the, is the alpha and so f can be imitated by c experiment x dot in a real life application because the, however the, the, we should make an experiment for these coefficients since the old dynamics in real life are nonlinear, and so we should obtain the specific value of the what the force and the speed of these things okay and so in the next lesson uh, we will continue with the dynamic examples we should create the uh, system dynamic modelings in order to create a state space representation or the transfer function form of these things okay with the value of this m c k with the basis of what the shape parameter selection and as well as the material selection okay